Hello everybody and welcome back to Theme Park Coasting and today we're heading off to Chesterton World of Adventures for an amazing day at the park. But with me today we have got Candice and Plessis, of course yours truly Tom Day, George and Bobby who are new guests to the channel so welcome Woo! to the vlog. And today we're also going to be here for the whole time doing new rides and so so much more. But we've recently, as you can tell now, have been on the train and we've been on here for like an hour and 20 minutes. It's not a bad journey. But I had a bit of a shock halfway through because I forgot I had to book a ticket. So I was quickly trying to get a ticket. <laughs> but I managed to get it off the train now. And we are walking over towards Chesington World Adventures. And of course, there are two different ways really from the train station, which is actually Chesington North, is it? So Chesington South, to get over towards the park. So obviously one of them is walking up. We just had a 15 minute walk. And if you're fit, like we are really, really good at exercise, you can obviously get there a lot quicker. Then the second option, if taking the bus, which you can get obviously right outside the train station, which takes you directly towards the park. But when I was on the train, I realised it actually took me quicker to cycle here from my house than it did to get the train. So that's interesting. But Callum, are you looking forward to the day today? Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's going to be an absolutely phenomenal day. And everyone, yeah, just too eager to get into a park. <laughs> and George, are you excited for today? It's going to be wicked. It really is. And Bobby, excited? Yeah. So yeah, literally right now we are coming up towards the park and of course, as you may know, it's also a Monday morning so hopefully schools will be back now so it'll be a lot quieter. As a quick tip from us over at the park, go through that entrance. It is so quick, it is such better and to be honest, even if you're taking the car, it's really worth just walking up to that entrance. It is just so efficient and great. However, we have got a little bit of a moan to start off our day as there was absolutely no temperature checks at ridiculous. all at the park, which is ridiculous, isn't it, John? It's ridiculous. And, and shock. And <laughs> no pre book checks at all. Yeah, no pre book checks. So, like, again, it's worth looking at the pre book, isn't it? But never there, it was a lot quick. And as you saw behind me there, there are our school trips, which is a big no no Yay. when you're in the park. So, if you are going to go in peak times, I definitely, I mean, like, off peak times, I definitely recommend trying to find a day when no school trips come because that really can know. get, you never really know, but normally near the summer holidays is when all the trips no, come. So if you go over towards September, October time, that's a lot quieter. And also you could get the Halloween event, which is really awesome. But where do we show first? I think we show Vampire. Vampire, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, said, it looks so empty today. Like, I find it weird because obviously whenever I normally go, it's the weekend. So going to school days, it's such a quiet park and it's actually really nice like, to walk around here I see what it's like up hard, but we of course as well are joined all by annual pass holders. Woo! Which means that not only can you get 15, is it 15? 20% 20. 20 off the shops and yep. you get to go for free and also it's a lot more handy. Free. So free. Free. <laughs> yeah, included in the 200 pound ticket price. So I'm not sponsored by Merlin Pass, but if you want to sponsor me, but nevertheless, I definitely recommend getting a pass so you can go in days like this where it's completely empty. So Callum, you just worked out something a little yeah. bit interesting and that's probably why the moans yeah. at the start wasn't done. So basically, what did we do Callum? Well, I saw this before, I was like, okay, vampires running and everything. I was like, why is vampire running? It says it's closed. But it's actually hotel guest entering. We've got in because we went through the hotel way. That's why we didn't get temperature checked. Yeah, because you had checked obviously before you got into the hotel. So that's the whole reason why stuff like we didn't get checked and also why it's only half nine and all the rides are going. But again, we got in here right now, so why not enjoy it? We're like, got in hotel time and hopefully we walk on. Like, the queue is queued outside, but I think it's going to be let in very, very shortly. So, again, if you get into an entrance, it's not always going to happen, but if you can, yeah. you can probably get in some really cool early ride time like we're doing right now over onto the vampire. One ride done and it's out of the way. We've just done Vampire and it's almost 10 o'clock right now. So all the crowds are now starting to enter into the park and the queues are building. But as I said earlier, I wouldn't say it's that busy compared to normal days. Nevertheless, we will be trying to get on as many rides as we can do. So I think next video I'm gonna have snake, I think. Because that'd be a good ride. But yeah, Vampire, amazing like always. I really experienced it, especially if you're near the back, you get more like whip around the corners and you get some more air time as you're heading around the ride. So, Definitely recommend getting near the back or exactly at the front because in the middle seats it's not as great because you can't really see anything. So if you're at the back, you get some good amount of air time and whip stuff. 
you have having fun, you get some good views. So yeah, one of those two fun. things would be absolutely amazing. But also, we as a YouTuber have not done Quack Drop yet. So today, of course, we've seen their first time reactions on the Quack Last time they visited was in 2019, before COVID-19 hit. So we'll also see all the social distancing measures that the park has got to offer. But what are the Q-Tons like, Callum? Uh, not too bad. I mean, they haven't really been updated, updated much. Uh, <laughs> longest queue I can find is Vampire, which is 45, which we've already done, so pretty good. Look at this new theme for 2020. Yes, we are now heading into Rattlesnake Ride, and I love this, especially if it has a five minute wait. Now, as I said earlier, it's not dated, but with the new theming of 2020, this ride is so much fun. And there's a comment recently on our top 10 video saying that this park is quite hidden. I mean, this ride is quite hidden, and it actually is. Like, when you think about it, no one ever goes, let's go to Rattlesnake first. So, because we just said vampire so quickly, we can add this. Hopefully, it will be a shortish queue. I can't see much down at the bottom, but it is a hidden gem, this ride. It's like, it's kind of tucked away around the back, a bit like Zufari is. And when you get on it, you actually have a really fun ride, apart from the bit at the top, where it really, really hurts. But, Mr. Mexican man here, and Callum, are you looking forward to this ride? Yeah, it's quite a good ride. It's a bit rough at the top, yeah. the corners, but it's a good ride. Okay, whose idea was it to do that a snake? Was it one of your two ideas? Was your idea? Yes. I hate you, Callum. I genuinely hate you. That's why you go with a fat what? That is, that was one of the worst rides I've had. Literally on my set ever. Like, it was rough, it was painful, the brakes were sharp, and it was just not a great ride. Sometimes sun's on Scorpion? No, no, it's not. Uh, it, it does sum it up, but that was an extreme. That was like, it's so different. This is the start of the day, maybe the brakes get more loose near the end, or whatever it is, but that was rough. And I did to Bobby, and I was lucky. How did you find the ride? Uh, it was painful. It was, it was painful, yeah. Uh, it was very painful. And, like, and there's a pig down there. I do love this key line for a score place right ahead now. But it is, like Rattlesnake, one of the best themed key lines at the park. But hopefully, it won't be as painful as Rattlesnake. As literally, I think I came off like aching. Like, oh, my body is still aching at the moment, thanks to that ride. But hopefully, this ride is basically flying fish at Fort Park. If you've been to Fort Park, I mean, I'm flying fish, but you know what this ride is like, because this is Scorpion Express, and we're going to head into Scorpion Valley. Yeehaw! Come on, Callum. I'm not stopping until you say yeehaw. No, say yeehaw. No. I'm not stopping until you say yeehaw. We've got to go. Come on, Callum, can you Callum, say yeehaw? Callum. Hell me! There you go, that's enough. <laughs> Two, one, yeah! Oh. Well, we have just done Scorpion Express, and to be honest, I actually preferred that Master Snake. Like, it was really enjoyable. Obviously, a short queue because we've now done three rides in 45 minutes, and they're all roller coasters. It's pretty good how much we've done so far, and I'm really, really impressed with the park over here today. So, again, if you haven't got kids and you don't have to go on the weekends, go during school time, and as long as you don't get stuck behind a school trip, you will be absolutely fine and get on as many rides as you today. I think we could possibly get about 15 rides today, possibly yeah. even 20, because like we're not a big fan of this channel of doing re-rides over on attractions, but we do love getting all the rides done over the park, so we'll try our best to get as many done today as we absolutely can. But Callum, are we going to quad drop? Yes. So you're going around that way? <laughs> I know, but I'm just looking at the queue. You're looking at the queue, yeah, okay. So we're holding a quad drop, George, first time. George, <laughs> we're doing a cork chop for the first time. Oh, no. It looks stupendous. It does look stupendous. And boy, first of all, cork chop, do you like it a little bit? Yeah, it looks quite good. It does look quite good. And obviously, from all the rides over here at the park, you can see this massive beast of a ride. And I remember it like it was yesterday. We were over here in the queue line for an opening, so you can check out that vlog right up there as we head to the opening of the cork chop event. But it is time to release the spell and break a curse on Crock Drop, the new for 2021 attraction. Oh, and I just noticed down here that instead of having four prints or what they called chevrons at Orson Towers, you've got crocodile prints. That would be really, really cool. Well, it's just a hand. I don't know what it is. Crocodile hand. I hope it's a crocodile. It's just a paw print. It's a, it's a crocodile print. That's a crocodile. It's not a paw. It's not a paw. That's too big to be a crocodile. They don't get crocodiles and then just... 
<laughs> no, we're taking everything all up. <laughs> Whatever they do, it is all the half prints on the floor, which I think is really, really awesome. Also, what's awesome is subscribing to the channel. And if you want to go on to Cork Chop, you have to subscribe to the channel as it means the absolute world to us. And we do over four videos every single week. Because I guarantee you, George watches every single one. Whoa! I know, crazy, right? So, if you are new here, please do that subscribe button. If you're new here, you're a regular watcher, thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute world to us. But you work for just like this, and we absolutely love doing the vlog for you guys. All as much as I love heading on to Colton. Right, it's not a bad ride, but they replaced Travis's Revenge. They just, <laughs> you just can't take it. I can't take it. I know, but now Revenge was such an amazing ride. I don't think now there's any, any top spins there. I think that's the top spins over in the UK. Well, he's kind of the point, but that ride is one of the best drop towers I've been in. And I've been on some big, and I've been big drop towers at parks like 400 foot tall. But that feeling, the atmosphere, the experience, and the soundtrack no, that you have no, that you have on the ride is really great. That's not bad, you. Is it? Nah, I'll we'll skip it. But what did you guys think of Cock Drop? Uh, it's not, no, it's not a Ramses Revenge. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the thing is, though, with it, is that Ramses Revenge was the only ride at the park where it actually went up and down. And of course, now we have got plans for a new coaster coming over towards the picnic area that's now here. So hopefully, maybe it might even go upside down. So maybe that's replacing what the big field ride at the park will be. But yeah, to replace it with more a family ride. It means the point then, with all the parks over here in the UK, all the Merlin ones, you've got Alton Towers, which is a family park, so I'd call it, Thrill Rides and Kiddie Rides. You've got Legoland Windsor, which causes a kids' park, Fort Park, which is more of an adult park, and then you've got this, which you know, like dumps in the middle, you don't really know what it is, but it is still a really great park to go to. But Vance Revenge is what made it like a little bit more of a divide between the rides. Well, right now, if you want more Thrill Rides, then Fort Park Alton Towers are the park for you. But, we talk about thrill rides, and that entry is a Tiger Rock. Unfortunately though, Tiger Rock is opening at 12, so there's no real point queuing up when it's like half 11 at the moment, because if you queue up for Tiger Rock, it's normally a 5 or 10 minute queue half through the day anyway. The queue up now is a little waste of time, and even though it is an amazing water ride, and it is quite hot today, it is not worth queuing all that time to head over towards Tiger Rock. But instead, we're going to continue and head now over towards Wild Asia, which is the time to Cobra, the Chuck Tuck Terminal, as well as the Jungle Bus, which are some quality attractions at the And Monkey Swingers. Come on, come on, that's one of my favourites. I love Monkey Swingers. So hopefully, we're going to head over there, do some rides over in Wild Asia, and then continue heading over towards Tiger Rock right after, and Zufari, which also opens at 12 o'clock, as a heads up for you guys. So, me and George just done the bumper cars, and that's time to watch Callum and Bobby have a go because there was only two spots, so we sacrificed them for this round. And we get a bit of video time now. Hello, Callum. Fantastic ride! <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh, it's a very good fun. That was absolutely really good fun. Now, normally we don't do bumper cars on the channel because the main factor that you can do it anywhere. You can do it at Fun Fed, you can do it at Disney World, you can do it here. But of rides like Vampire, Cobra, which is now like a 75 minute queue, and all the other at the park, you can't do as much. So that's why we don't do it. But we had to head back on there. It was so fun and funny. Probably got stuck for like yeah. 20 minutes of it. 20 minutes? <laughs> Felt like 20 minutes. Jesus and Christ. And me and John managed to get some amazing shots of them on the ride. But as I said earlier, we're now going to try heading back to Tiger Rock because it has opened like five minutes ago, I think. 
So we're gonna try out and get back over towards. <laughs> so instead of doing Tiger Rock, instead we're gonna head over towards Dragon Fury, which of course hopefully we'll have a quiet cube in that ride because that was absolutely packed. Like I haven't seen a queue that long for it since. God, I must have been the opening of the ride, and even then it was only on the bridge. I don't know. It's just, I thought this is the longest queue I've ever seen for Tiger Rock, and even though it is a really popular ride, if you were in a queue like that. I would expect around 180 minutes at least for that attraction, which, as much as Tiger Rock is great, I don't think it's worth that queue. But, Dragon Fury, as long as it's really queuing inside the queue line, I wouldn't imagine any queues above two hours. So, for Dragon Fury, the queue line is a lot better, and hopefully, we we'll manage to get onto this ride on this rather busy day at the park. <laughs> Dragon Fury, what can I say? It really does spin. That ride span a lot. Like a lot yeah. more than an ordinary spin. That's because we're fat. <laughs> Yankee George, well, I'm not gonna say this about myself, but maybe. Uh, he's uh, looking a bit porky this, this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I'm yeah, that ride was great and we we're gonna get some food, but I don't know how it's cute. Is it worth it? Like I was I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I wanted the two glasses. Uh, oh, it goes quite a long way for some food. I think Can we just go get the kebab? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think maybe we should come out later, I don't know. Yeah. It looks quite a maybe it's quite a slow food. I'm well. hungry, I'm too skinny I'm Yes, okay. Up. Okay, so we just walked around the park for like half an hour and realised that everything is on like our queue. So instead we decided to go in towards the cactus fish and chips and get some food. So George over food and to be honest I'm starving right now so I'm not gonna talk on for ages, I'm just gonna eat my food, and give you a food review straight after. It is time for a food review and of course we did a eight, not eight, and for cactus fish and chips and we all pretty much had sausage and chips. Now, the sausage and chips are lovely, they always are. Very similar to all fish and chips. It's not bad, it's not amazing, but it's fish and chips. But of course, the fish, I don't know about properly because I don't really like any fish, but it was a really nice meal that we had. And in terms of pricing. The chips were not salty. The chips were not salty enough. Yeah, well, I don't know, I don't like salt. But again. I like, it. I like a good salt. But again, I don't really like salt, like but then at the same time, in terms of pricing, I think it was like £8.99 for a meal deal, which included obviously a drink, the food, as well as a side with like bread, beans, gravy, all that sort of jazz. And then after that, we then also had, uh, for a murder discount, making it only six quid. So not awful, but the thing about this restaurant is how good it was to open the packets there. Yeah. It was, oh, it was so easy. Absolutely amazing. If you were like actually strong, you like me, you oh could open it. I had two mayonnaise. Uh, sachets. They were impossible to open. I swear. They were made out of some sort of material that metal. One, metal. Well, yes, <laughs> I mean, but literally, okay, they were impossible to open. They were impossible to open. There you go. That's our food view. And when people say there's not live entertainment over here at Chesterton, they are completely wrong. But they didn't say it was live good entertainment. So that's why we're heading right now over towards Tomb Glass, which literally just opened again after being closed for quite a while. And this is one of my only rides that I have to do today because I've started doing this thing now where I record my oh, highest funny. score on each ride and like, each shooting ride and I haven't done two rides yet. So I need to get on there, get some photo evidence and yeah, it looks like a long queue but it's worth it for two blasters. What 
such a fantastic ride over on two blasters, is it? Two blasters? Oh, I was confused. Uh, it's it's two, blasters. two blasters. What a great ride over at the park. And honestly, I really enjoyed that. I haven't been in there for a whole year I worked out because at the start of the year, due to COVID 19, indoor traps has been open. So that was my first ride in it this year. And of course, last year they changed it a little bit. So they had a bit more of a storyline towards it. And I really enjoyed the development, of course, of the ride throughout the attraction. And of course, it was filmed by George, so thanks. I will be all so, And I got, <laughs> I got 63,950 for my memory right now. And now it's been a while since we've been on that, actually, for like 10 or 20 minutes. But we're now heading over towards Zufari, which is, well, I remember it was new, but I think it's quite old now. I remember. When was it? It was like year five when this ride opened. Mm -hmm. So it is quite new, but still one of the, now one of the older rides at the park. But nevertheless, this is so much fun and really enjoyable. And if you've ever been to Disney World and went to Animal Kingdom, I wonder if there's Safari there. Well, it is very, very similar. Oh! We're on They also sleep for no more than five minutes at a time. You know, when giraffes are born, they have a big drop. When they were hunted for skin and meat. They mark out their territory with piles of their dung to warn off other males. Their impressive horns are made from a chemical which is actually the same substance as your hair and fingernails and is highly prized in many cultures. Sadly, poaching for their horns continues to be a threat to rhinos all over the world. The white rhino, though, like those here, are the most plentiful species. Who doesn't love a ride into Africa? Well, I do. Canada does. And Julian probably does too. Well, we have just done Zufari and that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Like, on the ride, you have such different experiences. Obviously, because it's done by animals, like the animals that are out or in or whatever. So sometimes you have a really good ride, like you saw some shots of those giraffes. They were like right in front of a car and the rhino walking towards it. And then there's other times where I didn't even leave their enclosure. So to be honest, it's really a 50 50 chance. But normally, for on the hotter days, neither start as well. They are normally the best ways to go and get the most out of the safari. But also, as you do, if you go into this little Africa area, it's kind of a hidden gem of a park. It's got a few little animals like meerkats. Normally, there's a you know, tunnel things that are open in there, which are quite cool. Oh, and there's also a lot more around here, including the brand new for 2021 play area, which I just added recently instead of the uh, guinea pig enclosure, I think it is. Unfortunately, though, it is time for our final ride of the day. Well, very likely to be our final ride today, as we're heading over towards Tiger Rock. And for the last three times that we've headed here, looking at the queue, it was way too long. But now, no matter what the queue is, and there's this queue in here, we're really going to head onto the attraction. And it's off. Oh, I'm going to find a queue line, smoking area instead. But yeah, we're going to get off this ride, and matter where it starts. No, it's not. It's not. It's shorter than I thought it was going to be. So, yeah, no matter what we're doing, we're going to head into the attraction as hopefully the second to last one of the day. But of course, if it does end up being a long time, it'll be our last one. We will catch up with you at the end of the day for like a lot good time, discussing about the day. All rides ridiculous. some rides that I didn't put on camera or not. And just done so many attractions, ate some great food, and done a lot today, which I'm really happy with. Can you guys hear the Two Blossom soundtrack? I'm furious! Here we go with the amazing two blocks of music in the background. Right, there you go. <laughs> that's an interesting start. Oh, that's a good ride to see. Let's go ahead and trip onto Tiger Rock. And the queue line was around uh, 40 minutes. So, are you excited, by the way? Yeah, I'm very excited. It's a very good ride. And of course, there in the car in front of us, it is possible to sit for, but it is very uncomfortable before we're on the boat. But there just has to go in a drop. Oi! Hello! Hold up, we can't Hello. leave. We can't leave. Well, there, see you guys later as we're on the drop. It's very hard to film, I've got my camera on me though. Come on! Hello! Hello! Woo! There we go, I'm thinking of your first film here, you get a great view of London.
for water we go and honestly up here may not be as great view looking down but you get a great view of Crook Road there as well as the Shard and many places over at London because this park is only I think 40 minutes away from London that's pretty really awesome but yeah good view up here and I'm looking at the end down and the big drop at the end and of course I think it's my view London there I don't know what time it is exactly right now but if not it'll be a very close one so how's the ride good is it good? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> good luck, Callum. Just good luck. Oh, that was nice that I wet this, but I'm just warning you in advance. If you go on one of these rides, watch out for this part here. Because you have a bit of a. Good oh. news, guys. If you've been watching this the whole way through, then you'll know that right now we have got another 10 minutes to spare. So. Thank you for watching all that time, even though we were kind of at the end. We got a little surprise for you guys. Yeah, but we're not decided obviously what we're gonna do last for our last of the day. And have you got any ideas? I think I can guess where we're heading, but really? Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. No, no. I think it's gonna be gruff like. You know what? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> Someone in the fan of Gruffalo. <laughs> but instead, of course, as I can guess now, I think we're gonna head over towards Vampire, which Hopefully in the long queue, we still got to catch a train on the way back, which is at like half past, we've got another one at the o'clock. So hopefully we'll be able to get on to one of those trains soon. But it's queuing around the extended queue thing. So let's get in the queue for Vampire, our last ride of the day. <laughs> Those birds fit in the park and it didn't fly away because I was there. It flew because it wanted to fly away. But Vampire's last ride, that was really fun. I was so lucky to get on that right at the end to experience that ride. And a little fact that you may not know, obviously I don't recommend doing it at the last minute, but normally the queue lines have to be open till five past the closing time. So even if you've got a six, you can get there five past and still get on the ride. I heard it from some staff somewhere and I have seen it being right a few times over my visit so maybe it is, maybe it isn't, that's what I heard and of course I give the information towards you but as I always say don't rush to get to win the last ride because the staff want to go home and if you had like 10 minutes like we do do it but if you're like, put, like waiting to get the last train of the day it's sort of a bit disrespectful just like maybe I'm stay at work for longer but nevertheless we had a really good day today and I'm so happy with everything we've done. I was everyone's reviews in the sec, but we've now got to walk quite quickly because we've got like 20 minutes to a train leave, so we'll get back there really quickly for a nice hour and 20 minute journey, train journey home. Hey! But talk about moving quickly, let's have a look at some animals. Great. <laughs> Earlier this morning we were walking down here thinking, what would today be ahead over at Gentleman World Adventures? I don't know about the high <laughs> hopes or low hopes. But it was great, and honestly today made me realise why I love Kensington so, so much. Like, I came in here like, thinking, oh, it's one of the OK parks over in the UK, you know, but actually... And also, we're, we're not joined by the best people as well. Yeah, I know, you're you know, a bit yeah. disappointing who we're joined with. <laughs> so even, even when you're joined to really bad people, you can still have a really good day at the park. And as I was leaving, I was thinking, I like this park a lot, because even when it is closed, it has got the zoo, and stuff like that, which really makes a nice experience. And of course, I remember once when you stay in those hotels, it just makes it a hundred times better. So if you want to stay in the hotels, recommend over on a zoo weekend because on those weekends they're open both days, and the hotels are a lot cheaper. Because at the moment, I don't know the exact price, but I know it's a lot more than you may think. So great hotels, lovely day, and I would highly recommend them to anyone who can afford it. But if you want a cheap bargain on it, like we always do on Fiat Coasting, make sure to go during the close season because even though a parking isn't open for all the rides, you can still enjoy the zoo and head to the hotels. And with the leftover money, you can go over a few trips in the summer as well. So it's a win, 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 win. But it's now time to give our reviews over here on our day at Chesham World Adventures. Now I'm going to start off with Callum, just to get you out of the way with. How's your day today? It's been a very good day. We're not going to do it in the train, I'm tired. How's your day, Callum? It's been a good day. We got a lot done actually, and uh, yeah, the has been amazing. Exactly. It always is a good park. Now I'm gonna go to George. I don't think you're gonna refuse unless you stop the chain. But how did you find the day today? It was great. It was great. Wow, so enthusiastic. Favorite ride? Vampire. <laughs> there you go. Thank and you. thank you. And finally, so vlog. yeah. And finally, Bobby. How have you found your day today at the park? It was a very good day. It was a bit busy, but. 
Oh, yeah, it was a bit busy, and of course it is school day, so you can't really experience it like you could. Also, COVID's around, which adds to a few bit of crowds. So overall, we, we did come here expecting it's going to be quite busy, but what we did today was amazing. We had some great lines, and all around, I have absolutely adored today. But now it's time to get a thumbnail photo in front of the entrance sign. So that means it's time for me to end the vlog over here on the channel. If you have enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And also, they're not going to be in every single vlog, so you can subscribe. Don't worry, they're not going to be in every single one. So, that is it from me, Tom Derek, from Theme Park Coasting. And I will see you guys later for another video. Goodbye.